Hi, welcome to this corporate maths video on the unit tree method. The unit tree method is a really useful technique and it involves finding the value for one item and then multiplying that by a certain number to find the value for that number of items. So for instance, here's a typical question. Five apples cost £1.20. And the question says, how much would eight apples cost? So what we're going to do in this question is we're going to divide £1.20 by five and that will tell us the cost of one apple. And then we'll get that cost, that uh, price of one apple, and we'll multiply it by eight and that will tell us the price of eight apples. So £1.20, so that's 120 pennies divided by five. So five into one, zero, remainder one. Five into 12, two, remainder two and five into 20 is four. So one apple, one apple costs 24p. Okay, so each of these apples cost 24p. And we want to find the price of eight apples. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our 24p and we're going to times it by eight. So eight times four is 32, put the two down, carry the three, eight times two is 16, plus three is 19. So it's 192 pence or one pound 92. And that's it. So in this question, we've solved using the unitary method by finding the total price, which is one pound 20, and dividing it by five to find the cost of one apple. And then once we know the cost of one apple, we could times it by any number we want to find the cost of that number of apples. So for instance, eight apples, we times 24 by eight. If we want to know the price of 15 apples, we would have times 24 by 15 and so on. And that's it. Okay, so our second question said, on Monday, Joshua worked nine hours and was paid 108 pound. And on Tuesday, he worked five hours. And the question says, how much was Joshua paid on Tuesday? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at Monday and we're gonna see that he was paid 108 pound and we're gonna divide that by nine because he worked nine hours. So if we divide 108 by nine, we'll work out how much money Joshua has paid for one hour's work. So 108 divided by nine, well, that's gonna be nine into one doesn't go, remainder one. Nine into 10 goes once, remainder one. And nine into 18 goes two. So Joshua's paid 12 pound per hour. So he's paid 12 pound for each hour he works. Now on Tuesday, he worked five hours. So if we wanna work out how much money Joshua has paid on Tuesday, we're gonna multiply the 12 pound by five because he worked for five hours. So we're gonna do 12 times five and 12 times five is equal to 60. So Joshua has paid 60 pound on Tuesday. So again, using the unitary method, we divide the 108 by nine to work out how much Joshua's paid for one hour. And then we multiply by the number of hours that he worked on Tuesday. If he worked five hours, we times by five. If he worked 15 hours, we times by 15 and so on. Okay, so our last question. 45 marbles have a mass of 81 grams. What is the mass of 100 marbles? So what we're gonna do in this question is we're gonna take the 81 grams and we're gonna divide it by 45. And that'll tell us the mass of one marble. So we'll do 81 divided by 45. Now this is a calculator question, so 81 divided by 45 equals 1.8. So each marble has a mass of 1.8 grams. And the question says, what is the mass of 100 marbles? So if we know the mass of one marble, which is 1.8, if we times that by 100, we'll get the mass of 100 marbles. So that's gonna be 180 grams, and that's it.